Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Desolation playthrough. This is part 31, and last episode we went ahead and had our gym battle against Emily, got ourselves that nice shiny piece of metal that allows us to continue with our journey, and we also went ahead and wrapped up all of the business with uh, the Rosetta Battle Tournament in this city anyway, which means that for now, while I'm sure there's still a couple of things that we have to do around here, I'm going to put all of those on a back burner and we're going to head to Celia City on this beautiful boat down here. So, let's go ahead and see what's happening on, uh, happening with our transport, I guess. Carlos, I think it's time for a chat. Wait, Nova? Wait, wait, don't, don't, I was finally about to leave. I was finally about to leave. Time for a vacation. Yeah, a vacation to Celia. Right? Right? Why are you doing this to me? Nova. Nova. I was just about to go to a new city. Okay? I was ready to leave. I spent a lot of time here. Okay, Nova? Better make this quick. Welcome to my little talking space, Carlos. Are these explosives? This is where I take people when I need to have a little one-on-one -on -one chat. It's dynamite, right? Uh, you see? There's a problem, Carlos. Now, I know we've had our differences. I know you gave the stone to Shiv. But, it doesn't have to be that way. You tell me that you're gonna try and like make me go back in time and not give the stone, because I'm still gonna give the stone. We can work together. I've seen it. Shiv was wrong about me. My world isn't entirely fake. It's just what I want to perceive as reality. Consider this. Shouldn't we just accept whatever makes us the happiest to be reality? No. Shouldn't that be the most important? No. <laughs> that is. If I felt like I could trust you, Carlos. I feel like you've worn that trust out recently. Your friends are only causing problems, you see? Yet you continually prance around with them, dodging the hard questions. You're just playing pretend hero in this little game, huh? Yes, I am. <laughs> is that all this is to you? Yes, it is. <laughs> I need you to show some... <laughs> I need to show you more someday, Carlos. I've got so much to show you. But I can't show you if you're stuck here. We'll talk again, Carlos. Consider the future, won't you? I mean... I've considered it. I've considered it a lot. I just don't think sending everyone into a dream is really the best course of action. So... I don't know. Ava. Hey, Carlos. Glad to see you woke up finally. I hope you're doing okay after everything that's happened. Let's just go to Celia, alright? Fresh start and all. That doesn't sound so bad. Oh, hey, Carlos. I hope you're holding up okay after the incident. Probably the best out of everyone, to be truly honest. So, yeah. Hey kid, how did you defeat Emily? Bloody good job on that. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I am ready to leave. Yep, let's go. I did also go ahead and buy a couple more reverse candies, just in case of anything, you know, weird happening, where we end up, like, super overleveled on one Pokemon. We have the candies to reverse it, don't worry. We've come a long way, huh? And in such a short amount of time. I guess it's back to the original trio, huh? Pretend we're a team all you like, but let's face it, you all just drag me down. Let's just get to sell it. Oh, with pleasure. Besides, it's finally a chance for me to meet Rosetta. Just another overrated scrub that I can't stand, huh? Carlos, the big city awaits. The worst of the worst. I got lost in this city. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh no. Don't be like that. There's plenty to do. Well, what are we waiting for? Isn't it time to go? Huh? Carlos? You waiting for someone? Tristan, huh? Carlos? Who's Tristan? Forgive me if I've never heard of him. Never mind the details, I can't be walked waiting all day. If he's got a place, why don't we just go and visit it? I don't mind having a quick stroll. Why not? Where's this place, Carlos? I don't know. Adenfall? Oh, well, let's go, I suppose. Huh? Really? Um... Really? So, uh, nobody's home? Seems that way, huh? Hello? Anybody home? Maybe he's off somewhere? I don't know. Something seems... Off. This place is a sty. Messy fella. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe too. This book here, it's absolutely covered in dust, Carlos. It must have been years since there was a home here. Carlos, you sure someone lives here? Why don't we just look around, alright? Might be a clue or two. We came into this place once before. 
and we didn't really get a chance to explore it though. So I'm curious what's actually here. Ugh, fine, we don't have time for this. Tristan's Pokeball, we clicked on that last time and it like immediately sort of threw us out when uh, he arrived or whatever. A diary, read it, sure, yeah, why not? Old man's diary. Ah, how the times have changed. The house is finished, the house all to myself in the woods. When I step outside, I get to pay homage to the smell of the forest, the crispy feeling of the grass, and hell, my closest neighbors are all the way in Blackview City. Now I can live my retirement away in peace. I want to write a book, you see? A journal about my experiences, about everything I've been through. But I don't get the time. I have to look after my grandson, Tristan. He wants to be a gym leader one day. Holds his head awfully high. I just wish he could try and make some friends. Most of the diary's been ripped out. Because Tristan read it and got annoyed? Or, or because the, the... Wait, what? Wait, what? I can't... I can't go upstairs? I'm looking for clues. Yeah, I can't go upstairs. Oh, you found something? Tristan's grandfather built this place when there was no inhabitants in the forest. That's odd. It's been inhabitants in Route 3 for over 50 years. Tristan should be as old as his grandfather by now. But you described him as being quite young. Dermatologists hate him. Yes, yes they do. Wow, funny guy. Not one free trick to have healthy skin. Seriously, stop. Hey, at least I'm trying. Stop trying then, this is serious. Keep looking for clues, okay? Perhaps look upstairs? Okay! I get to go. I get to go up here. Ooh, what's this? Wait. Wait. Wait, I know there's a potion in this PC, okay? I've seen this PC at the start of Pokemon Fire Red many times, okay? I know there's a potion in that. Let me get to it. Disappointing. Another diary reader, sure. An old man's diary part two. I've been living here for long enough now. Didn't take long for this repetition. This depressing sameness to begin to affect me. I hate it here, you see. I used to love it, but now, heh. <laughs> and Tristan, still here. Became the gym leader too. He's so happy. Kid's so alone, but he's so damn happy all the time. Sometimes I just want to wipe that grin off his face. Wow. Okay, not what I was expecting. But then again, considering Tristan's story that he told us, actually, maybe I should have been expecting that. Damn, I hate it here. Huh. More information, huh? So Tristan's grandfather got depressed. Huh, this sounds familiar. Wait, what? You said that the Tristan became the gym leader? The normal type gym leader? Oh no. No, no, no. Carlos, I need you to think back. When was the last time you saw him? In fact, think about every time you saw him. Alright, we, we went down the mountain together. Okay, after he found me in the snow. Uh, when I very well could have been unconscious or, or something, which is a little bit weird, but he was apparently at the top of the mountain. Uh, then... Then it would have been like... In the town or whatever, when we battled him. Probably there might have been another time in there that I've already forgotten, but then we battled against him, and then we saw him in Blackview City as well? Was it just those three, or am I missing some? Just, just think. Remember. Was it just those three times? Yep, the mountain, okay. Didn't wake up, I don't know what we've done. Name's Tristan, yep, I remember that. And we went down the mountain together. Oh, I guess we also saw him at his house. Okay, yeah, that one was, was pretty obvious. I hate Carlos. I see you found the way to my house. I've uh, been away for a while, but think let's get this messy. Yeah. No one ever remembers me. It's like people pretend I simply don't exist. The normal... The normal type gym leader? Ava. I don't know how to say this, Carlos. Show me a pocket, Carlos. Show me a gym pouch. Figures. There's no normal type badge in there, Carlos. Uh, you- you shush, okay? That megalopony was terrifying. Listen, I had that battle. Don't try and screw me out of a badge right here. I fought that megalopony. I want my badge. I only count three badges. The normal type badges are all over here. Cold. Untouched. What's it in this Pokeball, anyway? It's empty. Huh. Hasn't been used in years. Used to contain a... Lopony. Give me it. Give me it. I I want it. Carlos? No one has, has seen Tristan, or even knows Tristan except you. 
And you think he claims to be the normal type gym leader? Uh. 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 <laughs> Why did it get dark? <laughs> well, there's a problem with that. You see, Carlos? There hasn't been a normal type gym leader in over five years. That gym leader, Tristan, he's dead. He's been dead for five years. Not gonna lie, this one's hitting me harder than Scarlet's death, if I'm perfectly honest, and I don't really know why, but this one hits me harder. Listen to me, Carlos. Don't you see? You have to answer these questions or we will never make progress. Heroes. Everyone wants to be a hero, right? Now heroes, well, in stories, heroes are often portrayed as being invincible. They have an armor, you see. The same is often said for the hero's friends, and sometimes even the villains. That is, until the climactic final showdown. But why do they do this, Carlos? It's because it makes a good, entertaining story. But life isn't the same as that. You don't wear these unscratchable armor like these heroes. You don't have invincible friends or even enemies. Everyone is just trying to make their own way in the world, in their own way. But you, Carlos, you can't see that. Ask what your dream is to help you understand if what you're doing is right or wrong. To help you realize that you can't be this ideal hero. Yes, I can. <laughs> you shush. <laughs> I'm done asking what your dream is. Instead, tell me, Carlos. When it really comes down to it, what is real? And what is fake? End of Act 1. Um... Hey, they're waking up. Took them long enough, that's for sure. None of that, Connor. Carlos has been acting strange lately. Cut them some slack. Passing out every five minutes? Ooh, when do I get, get the right to do that? Free rest sound excellent to me. Cut it out, they're waking up. Hey, Carlos. How are you? Nice to see you finally returned to us, Carlos. Hopefully you can join us for more than just two minutes this time. I don't know, I'm, I, no guarantees. Don't worry about him, Carlos. There's so much to look forward to. Like Celia, our boat is only hours from arriving. Wait, we got on the boat? Wait, but didn't we go back to Tristan? But what about Tristan? He's real, dang it, I saw him. I know what happened with Tristan was strange, unexplainable. We need to move past that for now. Wait. Are you telling me you took me out of there without bringing the Pokeball with the Lopunny? I want the Lopunny. If nothing else, please, can I just have the Mega Lopunny? Please. I, I don't care about the rest. Just that. That would make me so happy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Because there are more important issues at hand. See, while we've played Sleeping Beauty, Ava and I have been receiving many messages from the gym council. It's basically like a uh, group chat for gym leaders. It's the only way Connor stays relevant. True. <laughs> I'll ignore that quip for now. It seems that sightings of both Crescent and the Black Foxes are becoming more prevalent. Their claws have remained hidden all this time, yet it looks like something bad's coming. Yep. Ava and I have to join the fight, Carlos. I know, it's regrettable, but Four Eyes is right. We have to defend our homes. Carlos, we're gym leaders. That means that when it comes down to it, we're meant to be the wall that separates our townsfolk from harm. Indeed. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It means you'll have to explore Celia by yourself. That'll be fun. Honestly, we'll come back in no time. My friends are gonna leave me? <sighs> and I don't even have a megalopony. This hurts. This hurts. Oh, who am I kidding? You'll be fine. Once we land in the port, Connor and I will make our arrangements and then we'll be off. That's exactly right. We'll solve the wacky mystery surrounding Tristan one day, but today is not that day. Hey, you feeling okay, loser? Oh, oh, two minutes was... Yeah, it was about two minutes. <laughs> oh dear. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... The house is a rainbow. Come on. Where is she? Give her some time. You know what she's like. We're lucky we're being paid for this. That's right, you are lucky. Aurora. That's a nice name. I like the name Aurora. Yes, hello, Munchkins. Let's make this quick. You said you have information for me. It better be worth my time. We've got a lead on the location of a den. 
took some prying, but the foxes handed over their information eventually. A den? Is that what they call their bases? I guess that makes sense. Oh, this should be fun indeed. I'm quite curious though. The foxes aren't so kind as to hand over their locations. I, uh, what? You see, my friend, I don't have time to be messed with. Now tell me, how long did you think it would take me to figure out you're a fox yourself? No, I mean, what? Loyalty is quite important to me. Wait, it was a simple mistake. I just needed a couple of bucks and... Dead. Dead. That's what it is, dead. For this lovely man's sake, please tell me one of you has something helpful to say. I... I do have something. What do you now? Someone I know said he saw that stone, you know, the one you've been looking for. Oh? Well, go on. Yeah, in possession of this redhead girl with pigtails. Wait, really? Hmm. Okay. Apparently she was quite the loudmouth. Boss? Anything else? No, that's it. Good. Then we're done here. And they all died. The end. <laughs> um, the Onyx Stone. Nova. I'm gonna enjoy this. A new rival has entered the fray. Welcome to Celia, my friend. Let me know whenever you'd like to return to Blackview. Although, surely, I don't see why you would. Oof. Oh, of course. Nice to see you up and at it. Connor and I are preparing to leave. Yeah, I know it's awful for us, considering what we are going through right now. We'll be back in no time. You'll be fine. It's only like, you've been passing out every two minutes. You'll be fine by yourself. <laughs> the city is inviting, unlike in Blackview. So if you run into trouble, just ask someone for help. You're a strong enough trainer to look after yourself anyway. While I'm conscious. Explore the city. Enjoy yourself. Huh? And with that, here I am. Poor lady lost her shop at home. Oh. Oh, yes, hello there. Are you perhaps a trainer? Ah, I see. Well then, you'd be the perfect individual to help me with a certain something. You see, I am to set up a shop in Central Celia. I aim to sell all sorts of evolutionary items. You've got my attention. But, well, I've been forcibly evicted. Or rather kicked out. Some thugs, wearing black and red, could not contain themselves, and now they seem to have made my shop their home. Police haven't yet responded to me. No, they're far too busy, it seems. Even if this happens to be their job. Ugh. I can't wait any longer. Could you please clear out my shop? I'll be sure to reward you. Sure. Northern side of Central Salia. I mean, we're gonna explore the whole place anyway, so we'll run into it eventually. Really nice here, we'll need a break from that Blackview smog. Okay, let's just see if any of these people have anything important. This dude's got a spoink. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Can I get through there? Can you budge? Can you... Can you budge? Alright, okay. <laughs> Guess they're not budging then. Ready for a swim? Maybe not. Nothing else needs to be occurring now, but whenever you're not looking, something's happening at the docks that shouldn't be. Interesting. <gasps> Wait, can I get hype potions yet? Please, please, please tell me I can get hype potions now. Oh, you're kidding me. I still can't get hyper potions? Ooh. Get a red candy as a welcome present, okay. It's nice and all, but I feel like we need more reverse candies than rare candies. Can we get anything new in the credit store? Binary. If we get a mega ring, I am absolutely coming back here for the binary. Absolutely. No, nothing good on the TMs, and I imagine nothing good on the items. Yeah, the items are still the same. Okay. Uh, while the ability uh, capsule is somewhat useful if we use it on camera, I'm not prioritizing it over other things like the Jinx Guild and stuff, which we haven't gone back to in a while, actually, though. Uh, so we do still have the Jinx Guild to visit and upgrade. For now, though, Celia has caught my attention. I want to explore this place. Level 50 Skarmory. But you know what? That doesn't matter, because it's going to sleep. 
We landed it. We landed it. I'm st I, I'm way too happy about landing that one move. I really am. Okay, I understand I shouldn't be so excited, but I can't help it. Okay, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> uh, Magnums can get in here, slap it with a discharge. Sturdy will take effect, but it's okay. Slash shouldn't do too much because we are we are a bulky ice cream. No sturdy. I've forgotten what Skarmory's other ability is. Is it like Keen Eye or something useless? I feel like it's useless. It's probably useless. Um, did it say Golem? It said Golem, right? I'm not crazy. It did say Golem. Okay. I managed to forget what she was about to send out in like 10 seconds, which was incredible. Does this have Sturdy? This does have Sturdy. This has Rockhead, because it didn't take recoil, meaning it doesn't have Sturdy and it just genuinely survived the four times super effective seed bomb. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about it surviving a four times super effective seed bomb. It makes me feel like Simi Sage sucks, honestly. Heard of Jared? Why does everyone know about Jared? What is Jared? I'm so confused with Jared. How does Black Fox just say use the stronghold? Just want to count as a hard battle. I just tell me about your hacksers, honestly. What are you doing up here? Hey Carlos, this isn't permanent. Please remember that. Thanks for everything so far. It's been an experience I'll never forget, and it's all thanks to you. That was green. It was green. That was also green. It was also green. I know I'm skipping over a little bit of their text, but obviously we've seen a lot of their text. Scrafty seems concerned about something. What about if I give you a gourmet treat? Would that help? I swear I saw a couple of gym leaders here earlier. Yeah, it's almost like they're still right in front of you. Who knew? Doc's Motel? Okay. So let's see. I never thought I'd make it, but here I am. Here, celebrate. We get a Firestone? Okay. Don't think we have anyone we can use that on, but if we run into like a Growlithe or something, then I mean, could be useful. Uh, although I feel like Camera Up has proven itself and I'm probably gonna keep using the Camera Up, so. My boyfriend left me and joined the Foxes, whatever will I do? Uh, I don't know, join the Foxes. Boom, problem solved. Coming into the city, good luck. So apparently the city is bigger than Blackview, meaning we've probably got a lot of exploring to do. Like, a lot of exploring to do. Which does worry me a bit. Uh, I am gonna land a sleep powder though. Flygon outspeeds us, which is scary. Um... I mean, we don't have an ice type move or anything, so I guess we just signal beam. It's not the best move for this situation. Yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage at all. We'd need like, either max turns of sleep, or, or something, or a crit, or a confuse. Things can happen. Or a miss? Okay, no, nothing, nothing happened in my favor. <laughs> okay, I tried. That was an attempt. Um, Frubble should outspeed, and we can just go ahead and pop. I would love it if we could get Ice Beam, but my hopes for Ice Beam are dwindling. I feel like it's gonna be something we get to like the seventh gym in this game, which I don't think we're gonna get to, because I know this is still in demo, which means the demo is, is meant to run out sometime around level 60 is what I gathered. So I know I've got a, a bit left. I don't know exactly how much though. I know we get to roughly level 60. I could be entirely wrong, of course, but from what I've heard anyway. Uh, Petal Dives are scary. Yep. 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 I thought we're actually getting bopped right here. Uh, that makes me sad. <laughs> I didn't expect my team to get bopped by the ordinary trainers, so I wasn't really paying much attention to the moves that they were actually going for. Entirely my fault, but we'll be okay. Probably a Pokemon Center nearby. Probably. About to send in Slacking. Oh no. 
Oh no. No no. No no. No no. See, if slacking is in the new games in Gen 8, I'm going to be very happy pairing it up with Galarian and Weezing. For anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, just don't worry. But let's just say that slacking might have some real potential in the new games. It might just have a way to cancel out its ability. And I'm kind of excited for that. I'm excited to see the potential of it. Of course, Gen 8 is also cutting a lot of Pokemon. So, we'll see. We'll see. I have high hopes, though. Uh, right, where- what is this? I can't get into the city because I don't have a cellular passport. Wait, that allows you to get into the city? Oh no. Am I not going to be able to get into the city? I see a Pokeball down there. Hold on. Hold on. Right, she's moved out of the way now, at least. That looks like a battle if I've ever seen one, and at least to some dude. I just want to know where the Pokemon Center is, to be truly honest. I expected it to be, like, at the start, so we could always travel back to it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Obtain a revive, I mean, useful, but not the center I wanted to find. What about the, the motel? Can we rest at the motel? That makes sense, right? Welcome to the motel, I assume you're off the room? Yeah. What are we waiting for? You payment? Certainly not. Miss Ava has already paid for your stay. Enjoy your rest, trainer. Oh, well. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I clearly share a room with this dude, so let's 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 speak to him. Ah, uh, hello, trainer. I'm just taking a break from duty. There's never a moment to catch a rest like this, especially when dealing with the foxes day in and day out. You know, you could use this break to help that woman that had her store go overrun. Just saying, but okay. Lock. So this is my room? It's your bed. Would you like to rest for the night? Sure. Should I have not done this? Is this going to advance the story? This is going to advance the story. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I was just thinking it'd be an instant rest. In the middle of an almost sleepless night, so every night, a presence looms and you feel a dream cast upon you. Darkrai? Wait, no, hang on. That'd be terrible in this game considering about Darkrai Perfection. Oh no. So anyway, I told Apom to use double hit, but he hit them three times. Apom had never done anything like it before. Who knows what it'll do next? But did you win? Of course you won. That's another badge added to the collection. Are you gonna tell me that Nova is like Shiv's girlfriend or something weird? Aw, Shiv. I'm so happy for you. You'll be the league champion in no time. I can't get ahead of myself just yet. There's some amazing trainers out there. Like me. Well, yeah. Don't get too beat up, beat up over it, Shiv. I'm just teasing. You'll beat me next time. Of course. You made your team specifically to beat mine. Next time, I'll be ready for sure. People like that. People like that definitely exist. <laughs> sure. Well, I've got to be getting on home now, Shiv. I'll see you later. Next time you come around, I'll beat you. Don't be so sure just yet, mister. So was that Nova? Can't tell because her hair isn't in pigtails. Next time. Next time she may even say yes. Oof. Oh, sis. Aurora? Things are starting to line up into place right here. Hehehehe. <laughs> hey, Shiv. Who was that? Hmm? Hmm? Wait, were you spying on me? <laughs> isn't that what big sisters are for? Aw, Shiv, it's been so long since I've seen you this happy. You must have at least a bit of a crush on that girl for her to make you that happy. Says no, what, what, what? Exactly. <laughs> so, when are you going to ask her out? What? Um, oh, I'm just pulling your leg. What's her name, anyway? Oh, her name? Well, her name is Nova. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you, can you let me sleep at night, dude? <laughs> Wait, no, hang on. <laughs> hey, Carlos. Long time no see. I'm only really here for one reason. You see, Nova has the stone, which, as we both know, 
It will only end badly. Why did I give it to you in the first place, then? If you can't hold the stone, why did I give it to you? This is... <sighs> I could have been in the good books with the people that have a chance of winning. Think about that. That'd be good. But you see, I wanted to show you more. I wanted to show you exactly why Nova cannot be trusted. What you saw in that dream was one of my memories. Just like the one where the Onyx Stone was hidden. Yet, yeah, that memory. Yes, Nova and I knew each other from very well... Knew each other very well from a long time ago. But all good things come to an end eventually. And over time, I'll show you exactly how that happened. I want you to know Nova like I do, Carlos. Because even after what she's done... For now, know this. Nova and I have very little power within Celia, Carlos. But if you find Nova, please, take the stone from her. You need not give it to me, just keep it from her. That's all I ask. I have seen what's on the other side, what she intends to unleash. It's not peace she will bring, but the opposite. Aside from that, I hope you enjoy your stay, Carlos. It's got a little bit harder because of what you just told me, but okay. <laughs> sure thing, buddy. Oh, did that even heal my Pokemon? I bet it didn't. It didn't even heal my Pokemon. <laughs> the entire reason I came in there was to heal my Pokemon. Okay. Well, I want a good night's sleep here. This won't help me sleep. It's not the Hyper Potion I want. I'll make Bug Pokemon around. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Not really, I was kind of hoping to heal. So anyway, I heard it was the same kid that beat Amelia. In this very building? Why are we even? Oh damn, there they are. Come on, we've got to tell someone. Okay. Okay. Alright. There was a lot of story to take in this episode. Uh, but as I've done a lot of reading, <laughs> we are going to round up things just here. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!